In this video, I show you the amazing debug capabilities of Kyle Studio. I have imported, built and downloaded an example project to my development board. I started a debug session that is currently stopped at main. First, I set a breakpoint at this line, so that the execution is halted before the virtual IOs are initialized. Then, I set another breakpoint in Blinky.c at this line. Using the latest web technology, Kyle Studio running in my browser has access to the development board attached with USB to my PC. The browser tab shows me that it is connected to the USB device. Now I run the program. Immediately the execution stops at my first breakpoint. I use the step into button to debug the VIO init function. I step through it. Finally I step out and resume the program execution. The program does not stop at the other breakpoint. For that to happen, I need to press a button on the development board. Done. The execution stops at line 46. Now I step into VIO set signal. I expand the local and global variables to see what's happening here. I see that the VIO set signal is called with the parameters 2 for the mask and 255 for the signal. This means that I want to set the LED 1 to on. I set another breakpoint here and run. Now I see how VIO signal out is set to 2. I step out again. In the bottom left corner I can manage my breakpoints. I can enable or disable them, for example if I want to start another debug run after a reset. I can use the reset button on the run control panel to restart the session and then run to the second breakpoint directly. This is the end of this short demo. You should understand now how web-enabled debugging helps you in your initial exploration phase, when you want to test drive some new hard or software quickly. Get one of the supported development boards and try it for yourself. For more information refer to the online documentation. Thanks for watching.